you are watching pr english shorthand dictations youtube channel this is english shorthand dictation number 375 and the dictation speed is 120 words per minute ready start we have no doubt that the direction issued in paragraph 36 of the judgment passed in the asian resurfacing case regarding automatic vacation of stay has been issued in the exercise of jurisdiction of this court under article 142 of the constitution of india even the direction in paragraph 37 of conducting day to day hearing has been issued in exercise of the same jurisdiction the effect of the direction issued in paragraph 36 is that the interim order of stay granted in favor of a litigant stands vacated without even giving him an opportunity of being heard though there may not be any default on his part before we examine the questions we need to advert to the object of passing orders of interim relief pending the final disposal of the main case the reason is that the object of passing interim order has not been considered while deciding asian resurfacing case an order of interim relief is usually granted in the aid of the final relief sought in the case an occasion for passing an order of stay of the proceedings normally arises when the high court is dealing with a challenge to an interim or interlocutory order passed during the pendency of the main case before a trial or appellate court the high court can grant relief of the stay of hearing of the main proceedings on being satisfied that a prima facie case is made out and that the failure to stay the proceedings before the concerned court in all probability may render the remedy adopted infructuous when the high court passes an interim order of stay though the interim order may not expressly say so factors like prima facie case irreparable loss and balance of convenience are always in the back of the judges minds though interim orders of stay of proceedings cannot be routinely passed as a matter of course it cannot be said that such orders can be passed only in exceptional cases nevertheless the high courts while passing orders of stay in serious cases like the offenses under the pc act or serious offenses against women and children must be more cautious and circumspect an occasion for passing an order of stay of proceeding arises as it is not possible for the high court to take up the case for final hearing immediately while entertaining a challenge to an order passed in a pending case if the pending case is not stayed the trial or the appellate court may decide the pending case rendering the remedy before the high court ineffective such a situation often leads to the passing of an order of remand in our legal system which is facing a docket explosion an order of remand should be made only as a last resort the orders of remand not only result in more delays but also increase the cost of litigation therefore to avoid the possibility of passing an order of remand the grant of stay of proceedings is called for in many cases when a high court grants a stay of the proceedings while issuing notice without giving an opportunity of being heard to the contesting parties it is not an interim order but it is an ad interim order of stay it can be converted into an interim order of stay only after an opportunity of being heard is granted on the prayer for interim relief to all the parties to the proceedings ad interim orders by their very nature should be of a limited duration 
Therefore, such orders do not pose any problem. Elementary principles of natural justice, which are well recognized in our jurisprudence, mandate that an order of vacating interim relief or modification of the interim relief is passed only after hearing all the affected parties. An order of vacating interim relief passed without hearing the beneficiary of the order is against the basic tenets of justice. Application of mind is an essential part of any decision-making process. Therefore, without application of mind, an order of interim stay cannot be vacated only on the ground of lapse of time when the litigant is not responsible for the delay. An interim order lawfully passed by a court after hearing all contesting parties is not rendered illegal only due to the long passage of time. Moreover, the directions issued in Asian resurfacing judgment regarding automatic vacation of interim orders of stay passed by all high courts are applicable irrespective of the merits of individual cases. If a high court concludes after hearing all the concerned parties that a case was made out for the grant of stay of proceedings of a civil or criminal case, the order of stay cannot stand automatically set aside on expiry of the period of six months only on the ground that the High Court could not hear the main case. If such an approach is adopted, it will be completely contrary to the concept of fairness. No litigant should be allowed to suffer due to the fault of the court. If that happens, it is the bounden duty of the court to rectify its mistake. In the subsequent clarification, in the case of Asian resurfacing, a direction has been issued to the trial courts to immediately fix a date for hearing after the expiry of the period of six months without waiting for any formal order of vacating stay passed by the High Court. This gives an unfair advantage to the respondent in the case before the High Court. Moreover, it adversely affects a litigant's right to the remedies under Articles 226 and 227 of the Constitution of India. Such orders virtually defeat the right of a litigant to seek and avail of statutory remedies such as revisions, appeals and applications under Section 482 of the Code of Criminal Procedure. 1973, as well as the remedies under the Code of Civil Procedure 1908. All interim orders of stay passed by all high courts cannot be set at naught by a stroke of pen only on the ground of lapse of time.